So the Python, what we are going to do is the uh, Anaconda. We are going to download Anaconda, uh, Anaconda Cloud. So the latest version of Python is 3.6. So that is the latest version. And you know, uh, it is uh, pretty, I would say it's pretty stable, mm, pretty stable this day. So there is uh, no problem with it. Um, and uh, so what you have to do is that you just uh, go here uh, so it is uh, so, so you can see see my uh, screen so this is your anaconda.com slash download so uh, download and here uh, you know i hope all of you are in windows but you know it, it comes with whichever platform you are windows mac linux etc and just download 3.6 version but not the 2.7 uh, we will be using 3.6 version so the difference between these two is that there are some syntactical differences there between python 3.6 and 0.7 and uh, there are and also look at the operating system that you are using 64 bit or 30 32 bit depending on the uh, on the depending on whatever operating system you are, 64 bit or 32 bit, 32 bit, just download the uh, 3.6 version. So, you know, um, uh, you guys can, you guys can just go ahead and download it right now, uh, anaconda.com slash download. So, you know, once you have downloaded everything, what will come as a, if you will come as a, uh, there will be a, uh, there will be a prompt that will come. So here, uh, Windows, whichever version i'm in windows 10 i think so you can just uh, search for you can search for once you have completed installment you can just search for anaconda prom so as soon as your one thing is already learning so i'm just uh, going to kill this thing and uh, just showing you know which ide basically we're going to use so this is your anaconda prom coming up and here in this anaconda prompt, we just type Jupyter, that is J U P Y T E R, Jupyter Notebook. So it comes for J U J U comes for your uh, Julia. So there is also another language called uh, Julia. P Y T is for Python, P Y T R is actually for Python, and then R is R. So you know, this is the IDE for that supports both Julia, Python, uh, Julia, Python, and R. So that's why it's called the Jupyter Notebook. So you know you can just uh, hit, um, just enter the Jupyter Notebook. So the kernel will start, and this kernel will take you to the local host. And uh, this is the um, this is what it will come. Um, so this is what you will see after you have downloaded and you have you know you have just uh, done the uh, Jupyter, Jupyter Notebook. So here is what you will see at the at the. Mm, the, this is your home section that will look like so here uh, you know uh, if you if you are uh, going to start a new uh, new notebook so what you will do is that just click on the new and then you will be clicking on the python 3 so this is the python 3 and then the uh, this thing will come up so the sale will come up so you'll see there uh, come like kernel ready so that means that you are now all set to go so you know you can just write whatever you write want to write you just write like print print hello and you know sorry so you can just uh, write your first icon Yeah, so uh, so you can just uh, uh, oh, calculate, you know, it's happening with my keyboard. It's a new keyboard. So it's happening like plus three. Yeah, so, you know, whatever you want to type or just want to type, you can just type whatever you want to type. So, uh, and uh, you know, this, so if you want to get rid of it, just go here and cut the selected cells. 
So this is, you know, this is what you can see. This is in code, but you know, you want to write something, uh, some some heading or want like this. So you want to write like, uh, this is my first Python class. So you can go here and change it to. Uh, either heading you can change it to heading or a uh, markdown this and then you know so this is like uh, this is my first python class so this would be uh, this uh, in a in a text for format of it and if you want to uh, save it so here you can go here and uh, save and checkpoint but before that you can should uh, rename it so you know right now it is definitely hmm, uh yes. five, five, five. so here i'm i'm renaming it and then first rename it and then you know you can download it as so that you can download it uh there are uh several several uh formats that you can download it so the, you can download the uh, the most preferred way to download is is your ipython notebook that is your dot ipython notebook so you can just you know uh download this one and so it will get downloaded and you know you can uh, uh if someone has shared these uh, any python notebook ip in the in this uh, form uh, in this extension then what you can do to upload it you can uh, to bring it into uh, say your friend you are collaborating with your friend and that person has sent you and you want to further work on it so you can just go ahead and click on this upload and in in this upload so you know i have several uh, things that already there so you know wherever which file you want to do just click on that and after clicking on that that file will come into your uh in this in this home section so in this section in this section it will come over it will come over here other than that uh the other things are that you know in this notebook in this notebook you can also visualize you can also visualize uh several you can also visualize uh, several several images as well so you see these images you can just so you know matplotlib when you'll be doing with the data visualization you can just plot all those things that visualize it in the notebook itself you do not need any other means need to go. so this is one platform where you can do all sorts of things at the same time so that's why you know the because of this versatility this is getting so so popular so uh, so you know, uh, just go ahead and uh, uh, try to download it. Uh, or if you are kernel ready, that means that you know it has uh, every connection has gone to the same line and it has it has got connected. So this is the Jupyter notebook. Uh, so here, uh, it you are now ready to do whatever you want to mm -hmm. do on your on your uh, notebook. You have to download your Anaconda. Download the Anaconda 3.6 version, uh, depending on your uh, operating system, 64-bit or 32-bit, whatever system that you have. So, you know, once you have done it, you can just upload it in your uh, Python environment that you are working and you can see the entire. And, and these notebooks are like, you know, very well commented and uh, everything is there basically. So you can just go through them. Uh, you know, very basic uh, uh, class. Uh, we'll start with the variable type. So you know, uh, variable type. Uh, if you are familiar with any computer language, what does a variable do? So variable is basically as a reserved memory. So you know, by variable means that we are going to do some operation on that. So we create some reserved memory location for for that. Uh, and there could be different types of uh, variables. There could be an integer. There could be a floating point. Floating point means, you know, the decimal point is there. Or it could be a string. String means, your, you know, the words are out there. So, uh, you know, like any other uh, languages, Python uh, definitely supports all of that. Uh, it supports integer, floating point, string, everything. All those variables uh, Python can do. And, you know, uh, I think some other language you need to define that. This this is like in, I think it was in, uh, um, uh, I don't remember one of those, like you had to define what type of variable it is. You do not really need to do it here. It will just understand what you're talking about. Um, uh, so, 
uh, okay, with with that the supports it also supports the law and complex. If you have the complex numbers, you know square root of minus one is a complex number. It also supports uh, that uh, complex number, complex number as well. So these these uh, Python is well good for uh, uh, doing all this type of uh, variables. You can work uh, easily with them. Now, uh, when it uh, comes to the mathematical operations, so mathematical operations like you know you are just trying to add, subtract, uh, subtract, then multiplication, division, module, power, all these things are very very easy and very easy and clear and clean syntax. So, you know for um uh, yeah so it's it's very easy so you know you if you have uh, uh, uh as i was showing like uh, two you want to do two sorry here my keyboard was something two plus three if you want to do two plus three that is you know you can just write two plus three or two minus three or you want to do a uh, 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 multiplication two Multiplied by three, six. So this is all uh, you can do, or you can also assign them to another uh, another variable as well. So uh, depending on it, maybe you know you can want to store what is the value of uh, two plus three, a plus b, uh, into another variable. That is also you can do over here. And also be careful of this print statement. If you are into 2.7 or a lower version, you do not need these uh, brackets. But starting from 3.5, you to print anything, you have to have these closing brackets. Otherwise, it's not. It's it's going to throw an error. So you know these uh, closing brackets are mandatory for uh, 3.5. So like this, it, this is the, your addition, this is your subtraction, multiplication, and then modulo. What is a modulo? Modulo is nothing but the remainder. For example, you know, you are trying to divide four by three. So, you know, what is your remainder? Remainder is one. So that is the modulo. That is the modulo. And how you get the modulo? That modulo is given by the percentage sign. That is the percentage sign. It gives you that. The division is just the by division b divided by a. And if you want to do a power, that is you know any number to the power any power number that is done by two stars. So one star is for your multiplication and two star is for the power. So this is you know very very simple mathematical operations in in Python. Uh, that's how it works. And um, and and then comes your commenting in Python. So you know, single line comment. You want to just have a single line comment like, uh, "This is my first. Uh, uh, this is my first program." Or you know, to start three. You just want to want to write. Uh, this is my first code, and you know, you just cannot write like that. You have to have this commenting out. So the, the different styles of commenting in different languages. Your a uh, single line comment, it just this hash. So that hash, uh, you know, it changes into green. So that then it will find it, and then this is a, a single line comment. But if you are using multiple line comments, so the multiple line comment would be the control. And then this slash that will use your multiple lines. So, for example, and you know it will whichever line you want to comment. So just uh, just uh, select them, and then you use control and this that is uh, uncommenting, and then and then this this is with your commenting, commenting and uncommenting. So this is your. Uh, this is how it happens. Your multiple. This is how it happens. Your multiple line comment. This is how it happens. Your multiple line comment. Um, escaping characters. What is an escaping character? So you know. Uh, so you are using a string. So a uh, string again. You can enclose a string in both a uh, single quote or double quote. It does not matter. You can use any type of quote. But uh, just be mindful that uh, if you are using a uh, single single quote to start, you should end the string with a single quote only. If you are using double quote to start a string, yeah, start a string, then you will end the string using double quote only. So there should not be any mi uh, mismatch. Like you know, you starting with a single quote and you are ending it with a double quote. Things should not uh, do like that. 
So, so you know, if you have an apostrophe s in a in your string, then how are you going to handle handle that apostrophe s? Because as per if you just use a single quote and start, and then then what Python will think is that you know your string is only up to this that s. But and then it is again reading, and then it is finding another closing. Um, you know closing uh, quote so you know it gets very confused if you write it like that so uh, so it will give you a throw you an error it will tell you that this is an invalid syntax so how are you going to use how we are going to use the apostrophe s here so you just basically have to use a slash so if you use the use a slash if you just use a slash you know in between the apostrophe s and that then for then python understands that it is basically an apostrophe s the string is not ending string is basically going to end at the end so this is how um, python is going to understand and you are going to use and this is called your escaping character so, so this is the way you are going to use your uh, escape character here i'm sure you enjoyed learning from this video please like the video and if you have any doubts regarding this video please comment us in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more such informative videos to look out for other related videos in our playlist for more information visit our website now keep learning with intellipat